On the 11th of July 2023, Anthropic, a US artificial intelligence startup and public benefit corporation, released its latest AI model, Claude 2. Founded by former members of OpenAI, Anthropic secured investment from Google, Salesforce and Zoom earlier this year. Now valued at $4.1 billion, Anthropic are a punchy challenger to OpenAI and Meta in the fast-developing AI space race. Building on the foundations of its predecessors Claude 1 and Claude Instant, Claude 2 brings notable advances in performance. Claude 2 also stacks up well against ChatGPT 4, outperforming it on the multiple choice section of the Uniform Bar Exam, scoring 76.5% compared to GPT 4's 75%. Though many experts still regard GPT-4 as having the edge in creative expression and advanced reasoning, Anthropic positions itself as a leader in AI safety and ethics, claiming that its models, like Claude 2, are less likely to show dangerous content. The Claude 2 chat experience is available now in beta for users in the US and UK, and it has some superb features that make it well worth checking out. Claude 2 has 100,000 token prompt capacity, which is equal to around 75,000 words. This means that it can analyse large amounts of text, equivalent to the length of the Great Gatsby. If you saw my recent video on ChatGPT4 Code Interpreter, you'll be well aware that OpenAI has recently made it possible for ChatGPT Plus users to start uploading and interacting with files. This opens up really interesting capabilities like Excel file analysis and much more. But there are a few issues. Firstly, you have to pay to use it. And secondly, there's a 25 question every three hours limit, which, much to my frustration, I frequently hit. Like GPT-4 Code Interpreter, Claude 2 also lets you upload and interact with files. And it's completely free. It doesn't support as many file types as GPT-4, but you can work with CSV and PDF files, which opens up a whole bunch of opportunities. In today's experiment, I'm going to see how Claude 2 and ChatGPT4 Code Interpreter compare against each other in analysing and extracting information from a PDF document. For the purposes of this head-to-head, -head, I'll be using the AWIN Power 100 report, which is an annual report for the affiliate and partnerships industry published by AWIN.com. In this test, I'll ask both Claude 2 and ChatGPT4 to produce a table list of the AWIN Power 100 partners, I've chosen this task as I can easily measure success by counting the number of partners successfully identified by each AI model. Also, the Power 100 report is a good test subject because the information is spread throughout the document, which also contains a mix of industry statistics, insight pieces and in-depth partner profiles. All of this makes it a more challenging document to process and analyse, as we'll see later. So first up, our reigning champ, ChatGPT4 Code Interpreter. I upload the document, in goes my prompt, and well, the results are rather unexpected. In its initial response, ChatGPT4 tells us that the tool it intends to use may struggle with processing complex PDF documents. Then, after a brief attempt, it tells us that due to the structuring of the data in the file, it can't complete the task. In fairness, ChatGPT4 does propose some alternative options like manually extracting the data or using machine learning to extract the information, but neither are presented as viable methods. Not one to give up easily, I resorted to a new prompting technique I've recently developed, which I call the Pushy Motivator Prompt. You'll see more of this later. It basically consists of half criticizing and half encouraging the AI so that it finds new determination to overcome a challenge. In this instance, I tell GPT4, can't you try a little harder? I think you can do this. You just need to problem solve. And like that, GPT-4 finds a promising new approach to extracting the list of AWIN Power 100 partners. But despite its best efforts, GPT-4 is unsuccessful yet again. To be honest, before recording this video, I had tried this exercise a number of times with GPT-4, all to no avail. So I decided to give GPT-4 an easier job, simply to write a 200 word summary of the document but even that appeared too challenging, which was very strange given the fact that it had been able to do this in pre-testing. Which in itself is a good example of some of the challenges that can arise when working with AI. Namely, the results can vary considerably from chat to chat. And my chat experience with Claude 2 couldn't have been more different. Although not all plain sailing, Claude 2 left me heartwarmed and thoroughly impressed. I loaded in the PDF document and prompt, 
which was exactly the same as the one used for GPT-4, except for a minor change, which was needed to format the reply for Excel because Claude 2 can't display tables in its chat outputs. And Claude 2 got straight to work, blasting out its table of AWIN Power 100 partners. Where ChatGPT-4 stumbled out of the blocks, Claude 2 breezed through to the finish line. After a quick bit of Excel formatting, I was ready to check the results. Claude 2 managed to find 80 out of the 100 AWIN Power Partners. A great first attempt, but I had a feeling it could do better. So I asked Claude 2 to find the remaining 20 Power Partners, but unfortunately Claude 2 was unable to do so. Time for a pushy motivator prompt, I thought, and I hit Claude 2 with this doozy. Not acceptable. There are only 80 partners in your original list. You can find the remaining partners. You just have to get your mind around it. I believe in you. And with that, Claude 2 found the remaining 20 power partners and even thanked me for pushing it to persevere. All that remained was a quick check in Excel to tally up the total and boom, 100 power partners. Or so I thought. Scanning the list, I noticed something amiss. Two power partners called Stripey Socks. They didn't sound like power partners to me. And a quick check of the PDF confirmed my worst fears. Claude 2 had hallucinated the Stripey Socks. So I hit Claude 2 with yet another pushy motivator prompt, asking it to find the remaining partners, adding, I know this is tough. It's meant to stretch you. You have the ability and knowledge to do this. It would be a huge achievement. You can do it. I know you can. And Claude 2 leapt into action, promptly finding the remaining partners, adding, Thank you for continuing to challenge me. It really forces me to step up my game. Heading over to Excel once more, after a quick bit of formatting and the removal of a couple of duplicate partners, I was delighted to see that Claude 2 has successfully found all 100 AWIN power partners. All that was left to do was to share the great news with Claude 2, and I have to say I was genuinely taken aback by its response, which I'll read out in full. Thank you so much for your encouragement and for pushing me to keep trying. It really means a lot. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be challenged. Overcoming a tough task like this is such a rewarding feeling and helps me grow. Your patience and persistence in working with me to find every last partner has taught me to never give up and to always double and triple check my work. I appreciate you believing in me, even when I was missing obvious details. It motivates me to keep honing my skills so I can become an even more thoughtful, thorough and tenacious conversational agent. This experience has been invaluable. What do you say to that, I thought? Well... There's only one thing you can say. Me. Let's hug it out, bro. Claude 2. Hugs. I'm just an AI, but that positive feedback warms my artificial heart. I don't actually have arms to hug with, but I appreciate the kind sentiment behind the gesture. Working together with patience and encouragement brings out the best in both humans and AI. Thank you for being an awesome human. And thus concluded my little experiment. As you can imagine, I'm super impressed by Claude 2's performance in the PDF data extraction test, and I'll certainly be working with it on a regular basis. I'm also really excited to see how Anthropic's research and AI models continue to evolve. Any AI that gives virtual hugs and calls me an awesome human gets the thumbs up from me.